Hello and welcome to another mini adventure. Today the location is that little island which juts out into the loch. It's difficult to access it if the water's too high. I might have to get my feet wet. And it's so inaccessible that people don't go there. It's very isolated. And uh, so it should be an interesting adventure. The last time I wrecked it was a year ago, and there was no evidence of wood use or uh, erosion of paths or any. It was so f a really wild and feral uh, location, untouched by human uh, hand. So it's going to be a rather interesting place to spend, hopefully, uh, a larger uh, overnighter camp uh, during the summer, perhaps midsummer or late summer. So I'm going to do a proper recce today and set up camp of carrying with me everything I would need to stay over, just to test the weight of it. I think the pack must be about over 30 pounds, fairly heavy. The access is along the uh, southern shore, uh, following uh, working through a reed bed here, very difficult terrain, and then accessing the peninsula semi-island, which juts out into the water. So looking forward to getting there because it's a, a wild Jurassic sort of park type environment. So uh, come along with me and enjoy the experience with me. Well, as you can see, I've finally arrived on my remote island. It took a bit of getting here, I think about oof, an hour and a half to two hours to get through all the cover. And, but uh, now I'm here, I realise why it's deserted, because it's so inaccessible. <laughs> but that's what you expect, I suppose, if you're looking for a kind of pseudo uh, uh, solitary uh, retreat for the afternoon. So, as you can see, the camp is uh, looking splendid as usual. Uh, Literally, this is the fourth or fifth time I've set the Levu up, and to be perfectly frank with you, I like it. It's so simple and easy to uh, uh, position. Uh, this time I've got a sleep system in place, uh, double tarp, foam, inflated, rather not foam, inflated, uh, com comfortable mat, and a uh, rucksack as a pillow with the sleeping bag if I need it if it gets chillier. So I think it's now time to cook brunch and uh, enjoy the quiet and solitude of this amazing site. I think you'll agree this is what wild camping is all about. I think that's fairly covert, don't you? I think the Dutch uh, um, Lavu is slightly camouflaged, I seem to remember. Not quite as large, perhaps, but certainly um, it does have a camouflage uh, pattern, uh, which would blend in even better. But uh, I'm very pleased with the Lavu. I just love the quality of the canvas. is just spot on. To merge in even better uh, into the countryside and blend uh, with the natural uh, vegetation. I suppose one could have a, a fairly lightweight throwover um, camo net uh, which really does conceal. Make an excellent 
bird hide if we want to spend a day or two doing photography, close up photography of the geese that we filmed earlier on the water. You could come here a week or two early, set up the hide, then go away, come back, and the birds will be used to it. And with the side pouches, you could get some pretty close up nature photography. Just one other great advantage of the Polish military level. Now doesn't that look quite delicious? Yum yum. Well, brunch is ready. Delicious. Well, I've just used two uh, dragon fuel cubes and what a fire it set up. A really huge blaze. The flames were really high. It burnt incredibly quickly, almost dangerously high. Uh, therefore, I think my conclusion, my conclusion here is that it would be dangerous to use uh, such a cooking system inside uh, a tent or tarp. However, uh, it did work. Uh, I managed to get a fairly hot uh, mug of liquid together. As you can see, the coffee is about ready to decant. But I've come to the conclusion that I might stick to the old Meths and BCB system because the Meths flame is more controllable and gives a more steady burn and you can all stop it up a little bit if you need to go another pace. And the luxury of a small frying pan, well, I think I might allow that. So from now on, for me to travel lightweight, it would be the BCB mug on the BCB platform, uh, a windshield, and of course, a luxury perhaps, but not necessary, a frying pan. So all in all, I think I've worked out which system I'll be using uh, for future camps. I think I should qualify my comments a bit further by saying everybody has their own preferences. Uh, I, will, I quite like the cleanliness of the meth's flame. It leaves very little damage and, and residue uh, on the uh, cooking uh, pot. I also like how easy it is to light and how flexible it is uh, uh, for storage, etc. So I think when it comes to stealth camping, I think the army have got the BCB uh, spot on, but I think the fuel is always going to be, for me, the tricky bit. I suppose if you were to cut the, uh, the dragon block in half into two separate blocks, uh, and, and make a slow burn well sheltered, you might get a, a simmer enough to cook a meal. But I think two blocks, when they're burning together, they are so fierce as well as a block on its own. Um, so probably cutting in half might be, slow down the... Well, I don't think it'll slow it down, but it'll make it a bit more efficient. But on the whole, I, I like the cleanliness of the, the blocks, and I'll be trying them again uh, alongside my meth experiments. So I'll be using meths and blocks. Uh, so uh, the, the verdict is not completely out on that one but I think I'm getting close to the idea of travelling extremely simple tri extremely light uh, and that's how it's going to be for me I think And look at this. The island. So it was a very narrow piece of terrain through here. This is water. This is all water here. And I managed to struggle my way through this and into the cover. And here I am uh, on the north east corner uh, of the island waiting for the sun to break through the fog, but it looks like, as usual, the weather forecast has got that bit wrong. Uh, the sun should have arrived at least an hour or two ago. Uh, it hasn't.
Uh, from now on, more control fires from the meth system um, with the BCB. Can't go for, far wrong with that. And so that's how I'll be cooking and moving lightweight uh, in the future, I suspect. Of course, people have different views on how all that works, but that's what I'm finding. To travel lightweight, take as little as possible. I have one cooking device, one cooking utensil, one cooking uh, pot, and you're set, as long as you've got enough good fuel. So, until next time, uh, may I wish you a very happy summer again, and uh, to get out into the forest if you can, and chill out, uh, and be good, be glorious, be cheerful, and chin chin.